overall, what was your approach to the day and what you wanted your guys to get out of it, what you wanted other people to get out of it? Well, you know, I, I wanted it to be um, as much as a practice as possible, but at the same time, you know, doing a few more things that may demonstrate some skills of some players, shooting the building, handling that ball. Um, but at the same time, I want them, I want them to, you know, see guys think quick pace, who can react, who can see next play happening in a flow of a basketball game. So we accomplished what we want. Nothing different today, really, when we're going to practice, except normally maybe a little harder. I was about to ask you, this is about a normal practice? Probably scrimmage longer than we'll, we normally scrimmage. Uh, probably be a little bit more defensive stuff. But as we go on this time of year, there's a little bit more defense involved. Um, but as you see, it was a pretty long, but many breaks. Uh, still able to get up and down at the end of practice. You know, Charles is obviously the guy that you know, people are looking at for this. Who's, who are maybe two or three other guys you think benefit the most? Well, you know, I think always just there's several people. I think your whole, whole team benefits because whether guys can play in the league or not, a lot of them think they can. So they got an opportunity that a lot of NBA teams are good today. So if you're a good enough NBA player, they're going to find you. Uh, but naturally, you know, it's most veteran guys. We were without Jarrett today. Well, Jarrett's out with a minor injury, but wasn't able to go. You know, Josh's athleticism, everybody's always intrigued with that. Uh, so there's several guys, you know, young Rawls guy, Tave Young. Uh, just watching those guys and watching them progress. But so Jared and Matt both didn't really do anything in the scrimmage. Just holding those guys oh. out, or that you no, Jared. Jared was hurt. Matt, Matt was okay. You know, we just played Isaiah Punch. You mentioned pace earlier in that first piece you had. And I heard you multiple times throughout the scrimmage. You were mentioning game pace, college pace, and then high school pace, and the difference between all those. How important is it to, to get that settled, and how tough is it for some of those new guys to really understand exactly how important that difference is? Well, as you just seen, the pace of practice is a lot different than what it used to. We call a drill. We don't wait for them to walk on the floor and figure out who's guarding who, what color shirt you on. I call a drill, figure it out. We, we, we want it to be chaotic. The game's chaotic. It's at a different pace and a different speed. And young guys, there's just adjustment for them. It's just where it is. Uh, but our guy, young guys are doing a good job. They've come a long way from day one. How would you assess uh, where your guards are? Well, it's very obvious. Two things we do better and we've done Last year for sure, for sure, we shoot it better, we pass it better. We got multiple guys, a little bit of depth there. So that's all plus. What's it like having the three former Mr. Basketballs, you know, being, being in here in Kentucky? What's, what's it like to have those guys on your roster? Well, we don't want them because they're Mr. Basketballs. We want them because they're good players. They happen to be a Mr. Basketball, that's great. You know, is it every Mr. Basketball capable of helping you win championships? I don't know. Uh, but I know the three, we have three. The three we have are good people and are good players, and all of them are capable of helping you win. I felt like during the scrimmages, there were a couple of times where there'd be a string of possessions where Cameron Justice would come down and, and take over a bit offensively. Is that something that you know he brings to the table and you're looking forward to seeing him in real game time? Cam Justice is really good. Uh, he brings us something that uh, you can't teach. A guy can knock down shots. He brings a real ability to see next play happen before it happens. And he's always thinking of uh, play ahead. And he's a, a much better passer than people anticipate. He sees Charles getting open. He can deliver it to him multiple ways. So he brings a lot of experience and at the same time, a guy can shoot and pass. Uh, just like you have, you know, go out and be a leader, uh, play hard, and you know, take on. That's a lot of different things. Uh, just keep doing those things and keep doing them better. How much improvement have you seen from Charles Bassey's uh, three-point shot this offseason? It's all better. Just a little bit. You watch us shoot. You guys were here and shooting. He's much better. His body's better. He's doing everything better. But again, remember this, and he's only 18 years old.
He don't turn 19 till next week. A couple weeks, whatever it is. He was 17 year old, 17 years old, years old this time last year. He really should have been a high school senior. So nothing surprised me with him. There's no substitute for experience. The experience he gained here, the experience he gained in the offseason. I think he's put it all to good use and he's better in every way. Physically and mentally. How important was it? To you finally get that thing set up? I thought it did. You sure it's set up, ready to go? I think it's good, Coach. Okay. How important was it to go get two grad transfer guards and uh, Kenny Cooper to uh, just come out here to kind of you know, lead some of the young guys? And another good guard in Jordan Ross. Uh, we think a lot of Jordan Ross. He's got a great feel, can make shots, uh, but you know, you, you can't teach experience. And those guys are experienced guys we got. Pieces that we need, because as you all you all know, uh, we didn't always shoot it consistently and pass it consistently. Those areas were much better, much better. What are some of the things that maybe some of these scouts are asking you about Charles? Maybe there's a trend and some of the things that they want to know. They, they saw a lot of him, you know, during the combine, but now you know, this is another opportunity since then. A lot of time has passed. I'm sure they, they want to continue to progress his his development physically. You know, where's that body at? Is he quicker, more athletic? Is he more consistent, not taking off possessions? And I think all those things are better. Now, where he fits and what they're looking for, from an athletic standpoint, you know, they gotta make those decisions where that's at. But there's no question, as you guys can all see, he's physically looks good, physically runs that floor better, uh, mentally he's better. I think this whole game has gotten better. But again, there's no substitute for experience. Gambrell seems like a hidden gem to me. Gambrell, couple Well, of you know, Gambrell's a kid. And I, I can't forget this. He's a freshman that did not practice last year. It's different being a freshman if you practice. He didn't practice. So he's just like Isaiah and Jackson. It's a learning curve. Uh, we got to get his pace right, uh, continue to get him to communicate and play with a little more energy and toughness. But he does a couple things that's very valuable. Wish we had it last year, just to build it, jump up, make shot. He can do that and he's really quick off that bounce. What kind of defensive team do you think we'll be? Well, we'll see as we move forward, but we think, we think we'll be good. Uh, you know, I don't know if we'll ever be good as I want to be. I think we're good, we'll be improved. I think a guy like Carson really makes you better. I think he's got to he bring some toughness. Guy can give you some physicalness. Guy gives you a little edge in there. So all that's better. Anything else? You can ask questions, yeah, man. You, got, you can't let these yeah, guys, yeah. You, so you're a new student, right? Yeah. You got to ask questions. So, Coach, you guys are three weeks away from starting the season. Uh, how close are you guys being game ready? You know, um, how many weeks we got? Three weeks. Here's all I remember. Used to be we couldn't start practice until October 15th, 17th. Played November 10th or 11th. You know, now we're able to start September 28th. So we're much farther along than we've been. Uh, it's a long season, long season. So um, I like where we're at right now. It's very obvious we gotta get better in all areas. But our guys are working hard, we got great attitudes. We make mistakes, as long as they work hard and get great attitudes, we'll get better at those mistakes. i got to ask you about the fans. You know, they, they were able to come out here today and see what, what you guys are, have been working on. But what can you say about how energized they are to, uh, for this season? Well, I'm going to let you all go back and print about it and write about it. Next Thursday night, they have an opportunity to come see us for the first time. I and mean, it will be a scrimmage. It will be a live, full scrimmage game. It's not going to be just running and dunking the basketball. So they'll have a chance to see us next Thursday night. And I hope we can, you know, practice that. Uh, it's the first chance for everybody to see us. I think it's very obvious. We like our team, we got a chance. So it'll be, you know, next Thursday night's our first chance.